President Joe Biden said last week that he planned on making a historic investment in affordable housing by rehabilitating and building over 2 million homes. I mean, can't you picture it? The reappearance of housing in Biden's infrastructure plan comes as housing supply continues to dwindle to historic lows. Biden's commitment to include housing as part of an additional infrastructure package was welcomed by California Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters. In a statement, Waters said her number one priority has been to ensure Biden includes funding for housing in an infrastructure plan. This is great news for first time home buyers as this will likely help alleviate some of the competition that many are facing. The president has assured that housing will be included in the reconciliation. As housing costs continue to skyrocket, the need for affordable housing is greater more now than ever. To say that the pandemic has destabilized an already unstable housing market is an understatement. But even with the president's insistence that housing should be part of a next infrastructure package, it is unclear if it could garner enough support from centrist Democrats. Democrats hold only a small majority with Vice President Kamala Harris casting the 51st vote. That leaves only little room for internal quarrels amongst Democrats. Now, due to the importance of housing reform, Democrats could attempt to pass the bill through budget reconciliation, an option that would not require any support from Republicans in a chamber split 50-50 by party. This would be similar to the passing of the American Rescue Plan, which passed without a single Republican vote. It's no secret that affordable housing has long been a point of focus for Biden and his team. He pledged prior to his election to introduce a first time homebuyer tax credit, upwards of $15,000, followed by a $25,000 grant. With neither the tax credit or the grant passed at this time, what can we expect in regard to housing from this administration moving forward? According to Biden, 2 million affordable homes and commercial buildings would be built and renovated over the next decade, focusing on low and moderate income areas. Biden is also calling on Congress to eliminate exclusionary zoning laws, which can inflate housing and construction costs, crippling home builders across the country. In several markets, large areas of existing property or vacant land may be zoned for non-essential use. If developers are incentivized and able to tap into vacant land and unused properties that have never been available to them, they would have the ability to develop affordable housing communities and provide tax dollars to the state. In my market of central Arkansas, I think this would be extremely beneficial. Most of the time when I am driving around, it seems as though there is tons of available land. Yet when I talk to home builders, they're constantly telling me about how there's not enough land and what is available is far too expensive. A lot of this is because most of the available land left is zoned for commercial use. In my area, there is not a huge demand for commercial property. So if those commercial tracks could be converted into residential use, I can see See how this could positively help the affordability crisis and lack of inventory. Biden also wants homes upgraded through block grants. When driving through your town, do you often see houses boarded up that you would not want to touch with a 10 foot pole? This is the case in my market. Arkansas is not necessarily an expensive place to live, but the homes that are run down here need an extensive amount of work before they can be lived in again. Most of the time, investors are not incentivized to renovate rundown properties because the cost to acquire those properties and renovate them is often higher than what they could end up selling the home for. If the Biden administration offers grants to investors, these investors may take on uninhabitable homes and make them a great affordable place to live again. Just know that if the administration does decide to offer grants to investors, these grants are going to have certain requirements so that they will not be fueling investors to further compete with first-time home buyers. Now I know in the market right now, many of you may be missing out on homes due to the fact that investors are buying them out. 
But just keep in mind that investors usually have capital that home buyers do not. And because of this, they can purchase homes that cannot be bought with a residential mortgage. So although investors may not be in your good graces right now, they are somewhat necessary in the shift we need in supply. That's all great information for the market, but what about help for home buyers? Biden does want to further the assistance available for low and moderate income earners, as well as prospective home buyers. Yet, the $15,000 tax credit and $25,000 first time home buyer grant have made minimal progress since they were originally proposed. The administration has said on multiple accounts that affordability is a problem and government grants should be available to help home buyers overcome some of their obstacles to home ownership. In my opinion, I do not think that the tax credit or first time home buyer grant will be implemented anytime soon. And here's why. Right now, we are still experiencing a very extreme shortage of available homes. So on a grand scale, it would not make sense right now to introduce something that is going to incentivize more buyers to come to an already competitive market. The best time to introduce some type of buyer assistance would likely still be when Biden is president, but when the inventory is more balanced. You're gonna have more opportunity for buyers taking advantage of the available grants. The National Association of Realtors said that there is a cumulative demand supply gap of 6.8 million homes. The loss of existing units through demolition, natural disaster, or functional obsolescence has contributed to the shortfall along with underproduction of new units. If these assistance programs were passed on a national level right now, we would get even more buyers entering the market and these buyers would experience the same extreme frustration of those currently looking. It still may be very difficult to get your offer accepted even though you have had this assistance to help you overcome some of your obstacles to home ownership. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi originally told the Democratic caucus that she would like to pass additional housing reform by July 4th. Since this did not happen, I am assuming that we will soon see some legislation take action in regards to steps towards home affordability. Since we have seen little so far in regards to housing reform from the Biden administration, do you think that this is just news to appease us that will never be acted upon? Or do you think that the housing crisis has turned into a large enough problem that the president will be forced to act? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Did you know that the housing market just got worse for certain types of buyers? Learn more in my latest market update and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more housing market updates and assistance program. I'm Nicole Nark, Arkansas real estate broker with videos to help you find your way home. I will see you in the next video.